Welcome to Password State Tutorial videos. Previously we've added in some folders and some empty password lists and now we'll look at adding some passwords into your system. There are a number of different ways to add passwords into Password State and the first and most common way to do this is to manually add one in by clicking on the Add button. When adding in a password, any field with a red asterisk means that the field is mandatory to fill out. All other fields are optional. In this example, I'll give my password a title an email address value and set a password manually. These icons allow you to view the value of the password, copy the password to the clipboard, generate a random password, or spell out the passwords phonetically. Now if I click save, you'll see this new password stored in my password list. This password can be viewed directly from this grid or copied to the clipboard. And if you need to change any data within this record, you can open it up again and make any changes that you need. You'll find that any changes you make are audited in the recent activity grid below. If you want to add multiple passwords into your list quickly, you have the option to import your passwords from a CSV file. Alternatively, for advanced users, Password State has Discovery Jobs, which is a feature that can scan systems of your choice, and any account it finds, it will add these into your password list automatically. There is also an API for advanced users, which you can use to script the addition of passwords into your system. That concludes this training video. Thanks for watching, and we hope this helps you get started with Password State. For more advanced videos, please see the Click Studios webpage or our custom YouTube training channel.